Bezier handles have been introduced in Moho Pro 12, and they allow you to design your vector graphics in different ways. You get more precision being able to modify your lines with the Bezier handles. And overall, the vector tools work similar to other vector design software, such as Adobe Illustrator and Inkscape. So let's take a look at how we can use Bezier handles to modify shapes. I'm just going to turn Bezier handles off for a moment so we can take a look at our shapes. I'll come down here and click on clouds. You can see we have two clouds on screen. One is just an oval, the other is a cloud that's complete. We created this cloud using Bezier handles. In previous versions of Moho, it would be nearly impossible to create shapes like this with such few points. And when you're animating, usually the fewer points the better, allowing you to get a more fluid look. So the benefits here are twofold. You can design things exactly how you want them, and the animation process is simplified. You can view and modify your Bezier handles with three tools. The Transform Points tool, which is the one we're on, the Add Points tool, and the Curvature tool. You can turn Bezier handles on right up here with any of these tools by just clicking Show Bezier Handles. You can see here that the Bezier handles have been modified. For instance, this one is shorter than that one, and they've been modified to create a pointy peak, giving us more rounded edges throughout the cloud. Again, you could do this in previous versions of Moho, but it would require more points throughout. And in the end, the shape might not be as precise. So coming over here, you can see we just have an oval. Zoom in. And with Bezier handles, you can just click and drag to modify the lines for the point. So right here, I can create a unique bend, just like that. You can also shrink and extend these handles out and move them in any direction you want. If you want further control, hold in the Alt key, click and drag on the individual handle. Now you can move them to create even more shapes. So we can come up here and move this one individually. You can see now we have a peak here and we can go in and add more points and we could do some unique dips like that. Making sure we have fixed Bezier handles turned off. Let's go ahead and click on one of these points and drag it along. You can see how the Bezier handles work to create a fluid and nice looking animation style that Moho is known for. So we can come in and go like this, and you can see that the Bezier handles work accordingly. If at any time you want to lock this so that you only modify one set of handles, you can do so by clicking Fix Bezier Handles. When you do this now, if I click and drag on this point, you can see that it doesn't modify any of the other points. So this allows me to get precise shapes just how I want them. So let's say I want that dip to remain consistent just like that. Well, with fixed Bezier handles turned on, I can go in and continue to make modifications and it'll do its best to keep that shape. Before with Moho, if I turn this off, if we add a point with the add point tool, let's say you have an oval like we do here and you want to keep the precision of the oval. Well, when you click, it would break the shape up, kind of modifying it as you add your points. And you can see why, because the Bezier handles are automatically being fixed to accommodate for the shape. But if we undo this and we use fixed Bezier handles right up here, and now we add our points to the shape, you can see the shape is retained. We don't have any distortion by adding these points. We can just go in here and keep doing this and we can add these points. And then if we want to, we could disable this. And now we would have that fluid animation look that we want. If we click the transform points tool, you can see now we can do this. Or we can choose to keep it locked and go in and modify like that. So really, this gives you a whole new set of options when it comes to designing vector graphics in Moho. So one more thing, let me just back up here. And in fact, I'll just hide these clouds for right now. Let's focus in on the dinosaur here. The freehand tools have also seen a benefit with the Bezier handles upgrade. So if we go into the dinosaur, and let's just click on the eye here, you can see we have some lines making up the eye. Well, we could very easily duplicate this with the freehand tool and with just as many points, if not fewer. 
For you longtime users, you may remember in previous versions, when you use the freehand tool, it would leave a lot of points behind. So let's click on the freehand tool. And let me change my stroke color here. We'll just change it to a darker line like that. And we'll reduce it to, let's say two. We can come in here now and I'll just draw it on the side here. So let's say we're gonna draw the eyebrow like that. We'll just come in and go up like this. And then you can get this shape like that. We can now use a freehand tool to do further modifications. So we could go in and go like this, go down like this to create a shape. And as you can see with the points, we have very few. In fact, I believe there are only four points that are making up these two lines. And you can just come in here and make the adjustments as you see fit. The blob brush works similar. Let me create a new document for this as I believe it will be easier to demonstrate. I'll click on the blob brush here. Once again, in previous versions, the blob brush would make a lot of points to create the shapes that you were drawing out. But here, if we click and drag, oops, let me change the fill color here really quick to something we can see. If we start drawing, and let's just get really crazy with it, come in here and really try to test it in release, click on the transform points tool. And if you look, there are actually very few points that are making up this shape. Here's a simpler example. There are only six points that are making up this shape. Designers and animators have a lot to look forward to with the new Bezier handles inside of Moho Pro 12. For more information, tutorials, or to purchase Moho, visit moho.smithmicro.com.